Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are in my bedroom today, which we're normally in the office, but now that tennis season is over, Josh is home and he's doing homework right now, so um, I'm in the bedroom. <laughs> also, I hope the lighting isn't too terrible. I'm in front of my window because I don't have like a ring light or any like fancy lights or mics or anything. So I just have to like make do with what I have, <laughs> which is the light, like the natural light coming through the window. And it's a very overcast day today and it's also 5.30, so <laughs> like winding down to like sunset time right now. So hopefully the lighting's okay, especially throughout the video. Now that that's out of the way, let's jump right in. Um, today I will be doing this month of October, the I buy five things from a magazine. And I have to be honest with you guys, I actually cheated with this video a little bit. <laughs> um, if you haven't been able to tell, October has been insanely busy for us and I've just struggled just getting videos up, period. <laughs> so I have already bought all of the items and I've already tested them out. So I'm sorry that you don't have like the first little like glimpse of what we're going to get but I did take notes and I have everything that we need and it was actually the first time that there wasn't anything missing or anything was wrong so I'm super excited for this one because there are some real winners in this one some that I'm actually going to actually purchase again. Also, before we get into it, one more thing. I actually received another magazine in the mail. I don't know why. I, I, I don't pay for these, I promise. Like I said in the first one, this came from me buying my shoes from Just Fab, and I didn't even buy those. Those were just from my Perkwins. But that's what this one came from, so I have no idea what this one is, but it is another October one, and I'm already testing these ones out, so this one will be coming your way, hopefully, next week. So, be on the lookout for that one. These one, This one has some pretty cool ones, too, so there's that. <laughs> Alright, and without further ado, let's get to... Uh, I buy five items from a magazine. Well, I think I am going to just kind of go through by, like, the order of what I used first. So, the thing that I used first was this L'Oreal L Vibe, I believe is what it's called. And it has almond and protein, and this is supposed to be like a damage erasing balm for your hair. And the claims say that it will repair up to like a year's worth of damage with just one use. And my hair has been through a lot. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't necessarily say a lot, but it's very, very dry. Last November, um, I had my sister do a balayage on my hair, just like on the ends, and so that dried the ends out really bad. So I didn't know about this product. I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. And so my first impressions with this product is it felt amazing, like just putting it on my head and how you use this is you like do your normal shampoo and conditioner and there is actually a shampoo conditioner that they like suggest that you use with this but I am still using the Pantene one that I bought two months ago like the first time we did this I buy five things from a makeup or not from a makeup from a magazine I'm still using that and that's what I've been using with this and it still worked really well so while I was running it through my hair, it just felt really nice. And you just basically put this on after your conditioner and you leave it in for three to five minutes. So what I do, how I use it is I just like wash my hair like normal and then I'll put it in and I focused it mainly on like the bottom half. So like probably from like here down because I feel like that's where most of my damage is. Like the top part of my head is fine. Like that's new growth, that's healthy, that's fine. So I focused it mainly on my bottom half then I would just continue on with like washing my body, doing the shaving, da, 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 and then I would rinse it out. So I will say that my hair does indeed look and feel like 10 times better than 
when I didn't use this like before it was nice and dry however I will say that not all of the damage was repaired with just one use however <laughs> I didn't just use this once I used it multiple times and I will say the damage on my hair now is very minimal I'm gonna try and bring you guys in close so that you can maybe kind of see and granted my hair is curled right now but I'm gonna try and take this like short piece and show you maybe that's better like I see one split end in that batch of hair so I think that's amazing but I do think that this product actually really works and my hair has never felt so healthy in its life and I do think that this brought back a lot of health and strength in my hair and I will be using this and I believe this was only like $5.99 so that's a pretty good deal for something this good so I will be buying this I do recommend if you're looking for anything to help your hair because I know for one like I am one that wants long hair my hair is just kind of stuck in this like odd middle ground and I want it to grow and be healthy and I think that this could help that. I'm not going to like put it out there and say that it is going to help it because I don't know that myself, but I mean, it did make my hair healthier. So I am gonna buy it again and I do think that this one is a good purchase and that it does indeed work. So there's that. <laughs> the next thing that I used, sorry, my camera is like super shaky. I'm currently on a card table because my desk is in the other room and so the next thing that I used is the Sturgeon's uh, Wet Skin Moisturizer and I absolutely love this. Let me tell you my first impressions before I like go fangirl on it. <laughs> How this works is when you're done with your shower, before you dry your skin at all with a towel, you take this and you just rub it everywhere and then you get get your towel and you like pat yourself dry or whatever and this leaves your skin feeling awesome. My first impressions of this is it smells amazing. I got the one with the restoring argan oil because it's a safer bet that it doesn't have coconut oil in it which I'm allergic to and it doesn't have coconut oil in it so this is a good product for me. <laughs> but yeah it smells amazing however when you apply it it did feel a little bit sticky the first time I used it, but I was also in like a steamy room, so that probably didn't help a whole lot. And when I first put this on, my first thought of putting it on was like a beach and like swimming in the ocean and getting out of the ocean and then like rinsing your body off so you don't have like the salt on you and stuff. I feel like this would be a really excellent like throw in your beach bag thing because once you rinse your body off, you can put this on and then your skin will stay dry or not stay dry <laughs> it'll do the opposite of that it'll be moisturized and gray and it doesn't have like sun uh sunblock like no spf in there so it's not counting as a sunscreen but i do think that it would help with like the dryness of the salt from the ocean after swimming in it granted i've only been to the ocean once in my life and i haven't been back since and i really wish i could but college life you're not the richest people in all the land so maybe later in life but I again will buy this product again it was $6.89 like super affordable um I do feel like I've used quite a bit of it though so I wonder if there's like a bigger bottle somewhere that I could use that would maybe last me a while um but I am gonna buy this again so I compared this to that Method body wash that I used in the very first I Buy Five Things from a magazine and that one claimed that it was going to leave your skin soft and it did leave my skin soft but nowhere near as soft as this. Um, if you're anything like me you have like super scaly yucky like dry nasty feet and I actually put this on my feet and my feet feel so smooth now. Like, I didn't use a pumice stone, I didn't use like one of the cheese grater things, I didn't do anything with my feet but put this on after my shower and holy cow my feet are so soft now. Like 
This stuff works amazing. I recommend this product to anybody. Such a good product. I will definitely be buying it again. Super affordable. I love it. <laughs> I feel like kind of like a baby when I'm putting it on myself after a shower because you put lotion on your babies like after you bathe them. So, <laughs> but anyway, I do like this product. I suggest it to you guys. If you have dry skin, my skin has never felt better. And I'm not just saying that. By the way, none of this is sponsored. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies that I'm going to talk about. This is literally me flipping through a magazine and buying the first five items that I see. So <laughs> there's that for you. Um, but yeah, this stuff is amazing. Even my husband says that my legs and my arms are super, super soft now. So it gets the husband approval too. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing that I used is this L'Oreal Revitalift, and this one is the triple power, like, hydrant or something like that. And I was very, like, iffy when I saw this in the magazine, because I was like, well, you know, I'm only... Babe! How old am I? I'm 22? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm a 22 year old woman. I don't really have wrinkles. I do have like dark. Okay, I need to just keep my elbows off the table. I do have like bags under my eyes, but I feel like everybody does. And especially in this lighting, they're like showing through really bad. But it's nothing that like concealer can't fix and stuff. But even with my concealer, you could like see the bags and stuff and like the discoloration under my eyes. So I thought, okay, maybe I'll try like an under eye thing. And then I went there and. I saw it and I was like, you know what, let's try it. I researched a little bit while I was at my Target and it said that actually in your 20s is a good time to start doing this stuff so that you get ahead of the game and not get wrinkles or not produce wrinkles. Is that the word I'm looking for? Like not create wrinkles until you're a lot older. And so I thought, you know what, all right, I'm in my young, younger 20s. I'm in my younger 20s. I'm in my early 20s. <laughs> So let's go ahead and try it. I got the bottle and this, I wanted to cry when I put this in my cart because this is $17.99, uh, very expensive. <laughs> and this stuff is supposed to be like under $10, but splurge, I guess. But it's actually, you get a lot out of there. Like this is for me using it for a week. I haven't even made a dent in it, okay? So putting that out there. So my first impressions of this is a little bit goes a long, long, long way. When I first used this, <laughs> it took two fingers or was it three fingers? I think it took two fingers and just like scooped some. And oh my gosh, that was way too much. And I couldn't blend it all in. Like I was like rubbing it down my neck and just being all kinds of crazy. So a little bit goes a long, long way. And it was kind of feeling oily on my face, but again, I was in a steamy room and I stayed in the steamy room to blow dry my hair because that's smart. So that may have been why it was kind of oily. Also, I put way too much on the first time, so also probably why it was oily. Um, after the first time I used it, I use it every single night before I go to bed and I just use like not even a finger full, like half a finger full or even like a fourth a finger full and that will like cover your whole face. Like I'm not kidding you, a little bit of this goes a long, long way. But ever since then, like it's been amazing. Like <laughs> I never thought, like I always thought that my clean and clear um, hydration was good enough for me and that was probably good for like teenage Braylon, but big girl Braylon, didn't know how much she needed this stuff until she tried it. I do see a difference for sure. And I like, I don't mind the price now because I'm nowhere near done with this. So this is going to get me like a lot of use. So I don't even mind the price. Like I would gladly pay that again. <laughs> Not only do I think my skin looks really good without makeup and I, I have something else that I'll like show you what my skin looks like without makeup um, at the end of this video. But I feel like my makeup applies like so much better now, like a million times better. I feel like my primer 
goes on so much better. Like, I do feel like the bagginess under my eyes has gone away a tremendous amount. And this is just from a week. Sorry, I have a hiccups. <laughs> this is just from a week using it. So this is definitely a thumbs up for me. Like 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10, not even 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10. And I do suggest this. I know that it's kind of a little bit more expensive, but I promise you it's worth it. I promise you it is. And you get a lot out of it. So I wouldn't be suggesting it to you if I didn't think it was a good product. I promise you that. So this one is like, a plus plus like beyond my wildest dreams if i had to pick a favorite from this whole entire um i almost called it a collection from this whole entire test that i'm doing with these five products i think this one would have to be my absolute favorite so this one's amazing recommend <laughs> the next thing that i used was these like ollie sleep things so I was also a little bit skeptical buying these when I saw them in the magazine because I already use a sleep aid it's melatonin because it's just in it's a natural <laughs> chemical that like runs in your body and melatonin helps me sleep and I like it and I didn't want to like screw up my sleep schedule by like switching it with a different medicine for a week but I put my big girl pants on and I said, you know what? It's what the video segment is, so let's get it, let's try it. Plus this also has melatonin in it. So when I saw that, I felt a little bit better about it. And then I opened it. <laughs> it smells so weird. Like I can't even, I can't even describe what they smell like. These are supposed to taste like blackberries. They don't taste like blackberries. They don't even smell like blackberries. Like these, oh, these were so bad. And then you're supposed to take two gummies before like 20 minutes before bed or something. And they don't taste good. They honestly taste like they were trying to be a fruit snack and they just did not make the cut that's what they taste like and that's actually that's probably a good description of what they smell like like kind of like a um fruit snack but they just they didn't make it <laughs> despite the like weird taste and smell i did start to feel sleepy within 10 minutes of this product so it does kick in fairly quickly um however i didn't get as good of a night's sleep as i would have with melatonin I slept okay, but not as good of a sleep. Why am I stuttering? <laughs> not as good of a sleep. So, um, you know, I think that these aren't for everybody and they were most definitely not for me. So if you want to try it, I guess go for it. This has melatonin, L-theanine, and bioton biotanicals. So it has a lot of good stuff in there for you, but just my opinion, just get melatonin and it dissolves in your mouth like we get the Costco kind like the Kirkland or whatever it is the dissolvable ones dissolves in your mouth you go right to sleep so you don't have to deal with like a nasty taste and a nasty smell and just that's my opinion but there you go <laughs> these were sorry these were $12.99 so um, I would rather pay like six dollars at Costco for a capsule that has a 365 then 12.99 for this that has 50 so there's that too <laughs> okay now the last thing that we tried for the week is this Garnier skin active micellar water and to me this seems really weird to like bottle water and sell it I mean obviously you drink bottled water and you sell that but like for makeup remover <laughs> <laughs> just seems a little silly to me. So my first impressions when I use this, granted, I have not used this for like a very heavy makeup day because, oh wait, actually, no, I lied. I did use it when I did the cut crease last week, I believe. I did use it for that and it did remove the majority of my makeup. So I will give it that, that it is a good makeup remover. 
However, it does claim that it's supposed to remove makeup, it cleanses and purifies your pores. No rinse, no harsh rubbing, um, face, lips, and eyes. This stuff was $6.89, I believe. Let me double check real quick. I have my little laptop down here. That's also partly why the light looks weird is because my laptop screen is like shining at me. Yes, this was $6.89, so it's not the worst, but I feel like for a uh, face wash, you're better off like with clean and clear or like an actual face soap rather than just this because I will actually also say when I use this, every time I use this, I would use it to remove my makeup, but I still felt like my face just needed that extra cleanse of like my clean and clear. And so I would also use my clean and clear as well and then go in with my new favorite moisturizer. So I will say it's a good makeup remover. I also think, and I haven't tried this out yet. I kind of want to try it out now. But I already cleaned my makeup brushes, so it'll have to wait until I have another like heavy set to do. I think this would clean makeup brushes very well. So, I mean, there's that. It's it's not necessarily a flop, but it's not necessarily a love. I would say the only reason I would ever buy this again is if it does clean makeup brushes because six eighty nine for a big bottle of like makeup brush cleaner that's a steal so i'll keep you posted on if it cleans makeup brushes or not i'll definitely try it okay so here is me showing you how good this stuff works i'm sorry if the lighting is bad <laughs> you guys are currently like in my medicine cabinet in like above my sink <laughs> so these are the like uh, rags I used to wash my face normally and technically I believe they are burp cloths for like babies <laughs> but they're really soft and um, especially when you like scrub on your face they're like really nice and soft and not very scratchy so I use these which if they're for babies that would make sense on why they're soft and then I just fold it into fours and then you can also use like the like makeup remover pad things to squirt this on, which I think that's what they prefer you using, but I don't have that, so we're using this, and then you just drip some on. <laughs> I have a runny nose tonight, sorry. And then I like to squish mine together to kind of activate it a little bit, and then I just... voila I feel like I'm in like a makeup commercial like can your makeup wipe do that <laughs> so that is I buy five things from a magazine so I would say that out of the three of these videos that I've done this one's been the most successful because I'm gonna include the like micellar water as like a win <laughs> four out of the five products for me were a win and I would buy three out of the five again. So there's that. Um, I hope that this was fun for you guys. I'm sorry that I kind of cheated on this one a little bit and didn't do what I normally do when I actually sit down and like show you guys what I'm buying. So I'm really sorry about that. But like I said, this month has been insanely busy, but tennis is over. We went to state and we won, so. Tennis is over, <laughs> so now I'll have a little bit more time to um, work on this stuff with you guys and work on my website, so super, super excited about that, and 
I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it informative and that some of these products you will try them out and that they will be useful and helpful for you guys in your daily life that they are going to be in mine and yeah thank you guys so much for watching the video if you liked it be sure to leave it in the comments below or hit the like button and um, also if you like the video then make sure to subscribe because I do a lot of these and a lot of similar videos like these and we just have a lot of fun on my channel so be sure to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.